हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर गणेश जयशेटवार हिमेटोलॉजिस्ट एंड बोन मेरो ट्रांसप्लांट स्पेशलिस्ट फ्रॉम यशोदा ग्रुप ऑफ हॉस्पिटल सोमा जुगुडा हैदराबाद टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बोन मेरो ट्रांसप्लांट और स्टेम सेल ट्रांसप्लांट सो बोन मेरो ट्रांसप्लांट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एडवांस ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शन अवेलेबल टू क्यूर नॉट ओनली ब्लड कैंसर बट मेनी ब्लड डिसऑर्डर्स सो बोन मेरो ट्रांसप्लांट इज नॉट अ सर्जरी like many believe just like other solid organ transplants bone marrow transplant it not the major surgery we just collect the stem cells from the donor uh, just like we collect the blood or platelets from the donor and the donor doesn't get any harm from stem cell donation in fact these healthy donors can resume their job their work immediately after stem cell donation like they do after platelet donation so stem cell donation is not at all risky or harmful to the stem cell donors uh, as uh, is wrongly believed across the society what we do in bone marrow transplant so many patients with many blood disorders like um, thalassemia sickle cell anemia immunodeficiency disorders bone marrow failure syndromes like aplastic anemia various blood cancers like leukemia lymphoma myeloma and immunodeficiency disorders where the bone marrow bone marrow is a spongy tissue residing in our bones so normally bone marrow is the factory for blood cell production in our body there are three types of blood cells in our body red blood cells which give us energy by supplying the oxygen across the body white blood cells which fights infections is a part of immune system in our body and platelets are the blood cells which prevent bleeding by forming a blood clots uh, in our body so this blood is produced in the bone marrow which is the factory for blood cell production in our body now the patients with various blood disorders or with various blood cancers this factory goes corrupt this factory becomes defective and starts product, pro- producing abnormal or defective blood cells now how do you cure such diseases where the factory for blood cell production that is bone marrow is defective now through bone marrow transplant you destroy the defective blood system destroy the defective bone marrow and replace it with healthy bone marrow which will produce fresh normal healthy blood cells and that is the logic behind bone marrow transplant so to destroy the defective bone marrow the patient suffering with these blood disorders get a very high dose chemotherapy or chemo plus radiotherapy to destroy this defective bone marrow now after we destroy this defective bone marrow the stem cells from the healthy donors in uh, allogeneic stem cell transplant where we collect the stem cells from a healthy gene match that is hla gene match donor either in the family or from across the international stem cell donor registry now these stem cells are infused just like blood transfusion in this uh, patients undergoing bone marrow transplant and these stem cells which are the mother cells for producing all the three types of blood cells they go to the bone marrow and produce a new blood system which is free from the blood disorder or blood cancer for which the bone marrow transplant is done now this entire process of bone marrow transplant takes about 3 to 4 weeks which is done in a specialized icu which is called as bone marrow transplant unit uh, where the patient need to stay for 3 to 4 weeks for the successful bone marrow transplant now coming to the advantages as well as risk associated with bone marrow transplant now advantages of bone marrow transplant are bone marrow transplant is the only curative treatment for vast majority of blood cancers and vast majority of blood disorders now every 20 second in our country india a person is diagnosed or detected with blood cancer so you can imagine every day about 2160 blood cancer patients are diagnosed newly each day in our country so you can imagine the number of blood cancer patients being diagnosed on a minute to minute day to day basis across our country now vast majority of these blood cancer patients i will say about 60 to 70% of these blood cancer patients need bone marrow transplant as the most effective 
most curative treatment option for their blood cancers and that is bone marrow transplant so anyone suffering with any blood cancer or any blood blood disorder um, either uh, in your family or in your society or in your city or in your state you are not alone friends there are so many people diagnosed with blood cancer and so many people who are getting cured with this kind of most advanced type of treatment that is bone marrow transplant which cures uh, to the tune of in blood cancer the cure rate is 70 to 80 percent and in non-cancer blood disorders uh, like aplastic anemia uh, hemoglobinopathies like thalassemia sickle cell anemia immunodeficiency disorders the cure rate is even higher more than 80 to 90 percent in vast majority of blood disorders so bone marrow transplant is a very effective very very successful treatment option for vast majority of blood disorders at here at yashoda group of hospitals hyderabad we have done more than 200 bone marrow transplants over last five years with success rate more than 80 percent which is at par with any international world renowned transplant centers across the globe we at yashoda group of hospitals have one of the most state-of-the-art bone marrow transplant facility across yashoda group of hospitals the bone marrow transplant facility is nothing but a special specialized kind of icu most technologically sound and most advanced icu intensive care unit which is uh, fitted with a special uh, air filters which are called as HEPA filters high efficiency particulate air filters so the ICUs with this special air filters are called as bone marrow transplant unit now why do you need such advanced ICUs or advanced bone marrow transplant units for the successful bone marrow transplant now with the persons who are going through bone marrow transplant we destroy their bone marrow completely to generate a healthy uh, disease free bone marrow in their body now this process takes time like a seed born into the soil doesn't germinate into a full tree overnight in the same manner uh, the stem cells germinating into a full blood system developing all the blood cells uh, takes time and that time is about two to three weeks so uh, one week these patients are treated with high dose chemotherapy or chemo plus radiotherapy and then once after at the end of this chemotherapy session the patients are infused with stem cells which will germinate into a new blood system a new healthy blood system which doesn't uh, which is free from the original blood disorder now this entire process takes three to four weeks of time and in this three to four weeks of time the patient undergoing bone marrow transplant is heavily immunocompromised his blood counts are absolutely very low and to protect this uh, uh, very delicate immunocompromised patient during bone marrow transplant you need a very clean aired ICU that is bone marrow transplant unit rooms where the air is filtered uh, in such a way that the clean air which is free from most of the fungi bacteria viruses uh, is supplied to the patient so that they don't catch up with these infections so there is a, a technologically class thousand rooms so class thousand air particles room is uh, mandatory for successful bone marrow transplant as per the world standards and we at Yashoda group of hospitals have one of the most advanced bone marrow transplant unit to tackle with any kind of uh, bone marrow transplant any uh, advanced or technologically technically difficult bone marrow transplant we have done bone marrow transplant for people ranging from a child as small as uh, nine month baby to the elderly people as high aged as 72 years so for such a vast spectrum of uh, different age group uh, patients we have uh, done successful bone marrow transplants uh, over last five years and we have one of the most advanced technologically most sound bone marrow transplant uh, unit facility across Yashoda group of hospitals so the air is class thousand air and there are many technical specifications that air should have 12 to 15 air passages per hour across the bone marrow transplant unit room it should have the most advanced high efficiency particulate air that is HEPA filtered 
uh, air conditioners in the bone marrow transplant unit room the persons involved in the care of such delicate fragile bone marrow transplant patients should take all hygienic all sterile precautions to protect these patients catching up with infections and that advanced bone marrow transplant facility is available at yashoda group of hospitals uh, in hyderabad india bone marrow transplant involves three stages or three steps the first step is when the patient is admitted in the bone marrow transplant unit for one month in the uh, one to one and a half month in the bone marrow transplant unit that is step one when the patient's bone marrow is destroyed with uh, high dose chemotherapy or chemo radiotherapy and uh, stem cells are infused and the stem cells growing into a full blood system uh, that duration is four to six weeks that is first step the the risk during first step is most important is infection so we need to protect these patients uh, from infections because their white cell counts their count cell blood counts are very very low and they are heavily immunocompromised uh, apart from that the patients can also develop various chemotherapy or chemo plus radiotherapy associated organ uh, damages like lung heart kidney and liver most dominantly uh, so this is the first part the step one of bone marrow transplant the step two is the time from the patient is discharged home at to uh, complete uh, uh, normalization of immunity of that particular patient the immunity even the bone marrow transplant succeeds first step succeeds within 1 to 1 and 1/2 months but the immunity to normalize takes 6 to 9 months sometimes 1 year post bone marrow transplant so the time for complete normalization of immunity is the second step and that uh, period can vary from uh, uh, first month to 6 months to uh, 12 months uh, or a year so the major three complications during this second step is number one infections again because of low immunity these patients are prone for various infection the second complication is graft versus host disease for allogeneic stem cell transplant the stem cells from the donor can attack the patient body because the pa- they can recognize the patient's organs as foreign and they can attack the patient organs uh, various organs and that is called as graft versus host disease now graft versus host disease predominantly targets three major organs skin liver and gut so we need to be careful about graft versus host disease and if that happens you need to control graft versus host disease by various immunosuppressive drugs and the third complication for patients for whom the bone marrow transplant is done for various blood cancers the possibility of the cancer coming back is always there even though with bone marrow transplant the cancer coming back that possibility uh, is brought down to very very low levels but still there is always a threat of the blood cancer coming back and depending upon the type the type of the blood cancer the cancer return rate can be uh, ra- can vary between 20 to 40% so we need to be careful for that uh, uh, complication also so the second step three complications infections graft versus host disease and relapse and again the third phase which is from uh, one year to up to which can extend up to five years uh, again the three complications infections graft versus host disease and relapse or cancer coming back these complications even though it happens at a lesser rate but that Uh, uh risk is always there and the person who undergoes bone marrow transplant and uh, the five year of survival without disease coming back after bone marrow transplant or after successful treatment for any cancer is operational cure in uh, oncology mm-hmm.